Well, welcome back. Out, out on the mobile tonight, about 40 minutes away from my uh, garage, and uh, got halfway here and realized I forgot a tool, so it's gonna make it a little more difficult, but uh, I got a 2002 Town & Country Chrysler, 3.3 uh, .3 liter. It's got a, a Misfire P0305 code, number five cylinder. Um, so we're gonna do a couple quick checks. I'm not gonna be able to do one of the tests I wanna do because I forgot, like I said, I forgot the tool I was supposed to bring, but uh, I wanna check the injector on that cylinder and I wanna check spark on that cylinder and I'll see what we have um, and we'll go from there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's got a pretty bad miss, like a dead miss. First thing I'm gonna do is hook a test light to my uh, negative battery terminal, and I'm gonna check spark on it. Uh, number five cylinders, the inside plug on the back on the coil. Uh, we're gonna do that first. Just, just be sure. Hopefully you can see that shaking. Uh, what I want to do is, I'm, like I said, I'm on the negative battery terminal and I want to hold this right next to the terminal as I pull the boot off the plug wire off the turn coil and it should spark to the uh, test light. I don't want to get my hand on the way because I don't want to get nailed by it. Well, there's the first problem, right? There's no spark at all. No spark on that cylinder. It's dead. Nothing. Alright, so... Let's grab another cylinder just to check it on the front to show you what I mean. Hopefully you can see this and you'll be able to hear it. I'm going to pull this other one. This is number six. Put the tester in there. Hopefully you can hear and see that. It's got a really good spark. Okay. Put that back on there now. So I know I have no spark on there. So I, one thing, uh, you know, I, have, I don't have to test this, but I want to test the injector. Unfortunately, this injector's... Uh, these are the, the number five cylinders in the back. Really hard to see it, but I can get to it. Uh, I'm going to take you off here just so you can hear what I'm listening to. I want to test to make sure the injector is firing and the computer is controlling it. Um, so I'm going to just show you a good one here. I'm going to go right to number six. Hopefully you can hear that. I can hear it, so you should be able to hopefully hear that. That clicking, that's a pin tool opening and closing, so that one's good. I'm gonna to go to number five here, get my light. Uh, I can just barely see it through the intake back in here. You won't be able to see it, but see if we can get you to hear it at the same, just like the other one, see if it's, uh, the injector is firing, opening and closing. Just another test. I'm gonna set you down for a second. All right, so I can just get a long screwdriver onto that injector. Hopefully you can hear that. It's firing the injector, so it's controlling the injector and the injector's working. Doesn't mean there's not a problem with it, but it is controlling and it's opening and closing, so I don't think we have a fuel issue there. All right, obviously you can't smell it, but I could smell that it's running rich. You just smell it in the exhaust, and it's because it's, it's, it is getting fuel to that cylinder and it has no spark, so it's, it's pouring fuel down and dumping fuel at the exhaust. Um, so I'm, I have no concern about actually getting fuel there at this point. Um, what I meant to do was bring my back probes and this connector on the back of the coil over here. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully I'm not blocking you with my light. I don't think I am. Uh, am I? No, I'm not. So back here, the connector, the electrical connector on the back of the coil, I really meant to bring my uh, back probes. And I could, uh, there's four wires. And the one all the way to the passenger side is the uh, control of this this uh, coil. That there's three coils. They control two cylinders each. Um, and uh, I was going to back probe that and hook a test light to battery negative again. And I should get a flashing light because that's the signal from the computer. But I forgot my back probe, so I can't really do that. Um, another thing you may want to do is... is a. Uh, a compression test on this. Uh, this engine was running fine. Didn't have any problems. Got a lot of miles, but uh, it's well taken care of. Um, really hard to get to that back cylinder and that back plug, number five plug. You could pull that and do a compression test on it. I am 
actually, because I can't test that, I'm going to replace this coil because I know that that's, that uh, number five has no spark. I prefer to actually test that signal and do a compression test. Uh, but if I'm wrong here, I just get to eat the part. I don't think I'm wrong, though. I'm pretty sure it's just the cylinder. I mean, just the uh, coil pack here that's going bad, and it's cold. It's like 25 degrees out. So you have to take the power steering pump off. You have two 8-millimeter bolts up here, and then underneath, uh, facing out, you can't even see it under here, so you've got to come in from the back to get to it, is a 8- or 10-millimeter bolt to get this power steering pump out of the way. So we're going to do that first. We have to get that out of the way. All right, two eight millimeter bolts. Okay. Now this one you're not going to be able to see at all. Uh, I really can't see it. I know it's there, but I can't see it. I know it's right down in here. I've got to take a look. I don't know if it's an eight or a ten millimeter. Thanks, thanks Chrysler. Ah, uh, it's a ten. 10 millimeter nut. I don't think you have to take this all the way off. Now it's slotted, so you just got to loosen it, and you can pick it up and get it off there. So it's 10 millimeter. There it is. Not let go of it this time. Yep, there it is. Just got to get it loose so you can slide it up off it. You don't need a lot. That should be all I need. I'm going to leave my, try to, try to leave my uh, extension right on it. I hope probably drop down behind the engine for me so I can't get it. Shit, yeah, there it goes. Let's fish this out of the way for enough to get at these bolts. So there you can see it. Hopefully you can see that really well. I'm going to shut the light off on you. Right there. Trying to move this out of, out of the way here. Move a couple of these vacuum lines without tearing anything up. Okay. Well, so, I still can't move another vacuum. Trying to show it, get it off here so I can show it. Oh man. Huh. Here it goes. Alright. Alright. Push this back. Just to show you. I don't want to get back there when I do it, but right there. Right there. Hopefully you can see that. Just a nut facing the back on a stud and a notched. It slides down over it, so we're just going to get that up enough out of the way so we can undo it. Ten millimeter oh, bolts. There's one. Actually, this is a, this is a nut on a stud. She's trying to get a good spot to move this out of the way, and I just it's not not helping me at all. one. I do not want to drop it. There's one. I have to be able to see it at least somewhat. Here. There's number two. Two out of there. We'll go for the two in the back. A little easier to get to. Pull this forward and get out of Tight down. There we go. I have to. Uh, undo this connector in the back. Uh, it's got a red Chrysler tab, which is already, I think, undone. Yeah, that one's undone. And you should be able to squeeze this and pull it off now. Supposedly. Yeah, let's see how that goes. There it goes. Undo that electrical connector in the back. We'll set that aside. Now we should better lift this off of here. Yeah, the wires are giving me a hard time. I'm going to do these front wires first. Just remember where they go. Well, these you can actually see. Six, four, two. Okay. 
Not made the ground. That goes my extension, but it did make it to the ground. So there's the coil. There's the old coil. Get it off of here. 240,000 miles. New coil. Uh, unnumbered, of course. Thank you very little. Studs started again. Four, make sure they click in place. Four. These already have grease inside the boots. Six. They're on. I'm gonna hook my electrical connector back up here. Plug that back in. Before I get, get uh, so I can't get at it. Okay, click my red connector back on that. That looks good. And the back is five, one, three. And I remember where they go here. Let's see. I gotta dig through and find out where they are. Ah, I can see them, kinda. There's number five right here. Number five. Good. Number one is all the way back here. That's this guy. One. Good. And three. Good. I'm going to tighten my, uh, put my uh, power steering pump back in place, get my ratchet and tighten that back up. My plug wires are back on, hook my vacuum lines back up here, the intake that I took off. That's much smoother, a lot better. Pull this wire here. Bye. Come on. There we go. Nice spark for the number five cylinder. Good. Everybody's happy. Let's take it out for a little test drive and we're done. Well, it's a couple days after I put the coil in that van and uh, Codes cleared themselves, went through a drive cycle, cleared themselves, and uh, it's running really well. Uh, there's a couple of tests I couldn't do. I wanted to test the signal wire into the coil, and I forgot my back probes, and I did not uh, have the ability to do a compression test or a relative compression test. I was about 40 minutes away, and it's night, 25 degrees. So I would have liked to do those two tests, but I also know that car, that car used to be mine. I've had it since it was new. Uh, I know it's been maintained, it hasn't been abused. So I really didn't expect an issue with it. It has a lot of miles, about 245,000 miles, but it runs really well. Uh, and it was the coil. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, from earlier that uh, had no spark out of one of the coils and uh, to that number five spark plug. So I'd really like to, to do a couple additional tests, but where I was, I couldn't. So if it ended up being another problem, I'm going to eat the cost of that coil. But I was pretty, pretty sure. I don't like to be pretty sure. I like to be 100% sure. But... Uh, it was the coil. Uh, if you have the problem with your car, I hope it helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.